all right hi guys what's going on it's natalie here back with another message for you guys hope everyone is doing well so let's tap in see what spirit needs us to know in the highest vibration for this reading holy spirit and angels what is the message please for my collective right now what is the message what do they need to know keep in mind energies can be reversed time is fluid if anyone needed more personal reading for confirmation you're more than welcome to email me Right, let's see what is the energy holy spirit and angels what is the energy here linus you've earned all your stripes mirror treat your body like the palace it is Castles, time for healing, not war. And library, take control of your own narrative. I already see what's going on here. Um, Yeah, tower, unplug and relax for a spell. It's basically the same gist I was getting in the last reading. Someone is trying to get you to see yourself a different way. I'm getting something about body deformity or uh, they don't want you to see yourself as attractive or like you came a long way. Someone is mad that you won't give in to like their bribing energy. It's like you're being, someone sees you as being very stubborn, but you won't fight with them either. So you're not accepting anything that they want, and you're also not fighting with them either. It's like it is what it is. You said what you said. You also made a vow to the universe, so you made a vow to God to keep doing what you're doing here. And someone is just like, they are very, they miss back in the day when you used to go back and forth with them and fight with them or something. You're not doing that. You've earned all your stripes. You've been through that already. Something about body deformity too. Maybe they're trying to like make you look at your body a certain way. Or maybe they have body deformity. They're doing this to keep you, um, they're trying to control the story of your life. Someone is, there's a narcissist out here trying to control the story of your life in a very weird way. Um, they don't want you to feel like you've been through the most, but you have. If you haven't, why are you like healing and not warring with them anymore? You must have done some sort of progress here. For them to uh, feel like you are changing on them or like you're not fighting them anymore. Linus, you've earned all your stripes. Fate, coincidence, fatalism, fortune telling. You guys could be a fortune teller. Tarot card reader. Coincidence. Daydream, optimism, illusion. Ah... Someone feels like you're uh, in delusion. They feel like you are delusional. Now there's two types of delusional. There's the type of delusional where you're crazy and you become a threat to everybody around you to where like you're harmful and dangerous. Or there's that delusion where like you're able to accomplish your goals even though everyone around you feels like you're not able to do this. There's a good delusion and a bad delusion. A good delusion is, is gonna help you accomplish your goals. A bad delusion is where like you just have this weird like you need to be locked up somewhere and i feel like they try to make this seem like it was you that need to be locked somewhere but no i feel like you you foretold this or you saw this or you followed your intuition maybe a tarot card reader told you that you would um be in this energy and you have met your goal the tarot card reader was right or you were right the whole time okay mirror treat your body like the palace it is like you're not listening to people right now friendship team connection and network and then we have mask here it's in the reverse um deception pretending inconstancy inconstancy yeah be careful of like fake people around you like someone has their mask someone is gonna like show their true self around you so be careful you're gonna be okay so you know exactly what is a good team member and what is not a good team member so people can't trick you anymore. Castle, it's time for healing, not war. Maybe you are collaborating with people right now and like it's fun for you, but it's just different um, because you're not used to high vibrational people working with you. Endless, harm and inevitable. Hmm, you always knew this would happen. 
you've always known that you would make it. You've always known you'd become successful. It may have taken time. It may have taken uh, a lot of war. Look at all this death with castle here. It's like a bunch of like you left the residue of war behind you. It's like you're you're um, you're treating the people behind you like they're dead. Basically, you're treating the people that went against you like they're dead. Someone wanted to cause you harm and you made it out. And you knew that you would win. You knew that they would lose and that you would win. It's just sad. It looks like it had to be this way. It's kind of like, um, it's sad that my mother was my enemy. Or it's sad that my someone that I was in love with was my enemy. But they had to go. I had Like, they had to be taken out. Someone wanted to, like, rob you of your dreams. Curse your dreams or something. That's not happening or that wasn't going to happen. Take control of your own narrative. Someone may actually pass to trigger warning, but I don't... I don't want to focus too much on that. I want to focus on the fact that like you are, you saw this coming. Gift is here. Souvenir, promotion, delight. Give me one more for gift. You're going to be happy with like, because you have friends that like support you or something. You may also have friends that see you as different than most people. Failure, castaway, poor. Imagination is here. Verity, fantasy, mind. Someone wanted to like keep you stuck in some sort of weird like narrative of your life. They didn't want you to see good people for who good people are. Someone like, they have this thing where they just feel like people are fake. And they want you to see other people as fake too. Like, oh, everyone in my life is fake. So everyone in your life has to be fake. Like, no, I actually uh, gravitate a lot of high vibrational people that aren't fake. Okay. Authentic people. You're an inspiration is here. Good karma. So you're just getting good karma for being an inspiration. Maybe you inspire people and people are just mad that you're not... Yeah, your wishes are coming true or something. You're inspiring people. You're attracting high vibrational relationships. You're strong enough to handle something. You foretold something or you foresaw something. It's like something here was faded. Someone's death is also faded too. So they better be careful if they want to keep playing in your energy. Yeah, we have gifts and blessings. DNA paternity tests. I feel like you guys are being tested. Magic backfired. Poverty, mindset, slave mentality, blockages and stagnation. There's not enough time for talking. Magic backfired. I feel like you're not talking to someone right now or you're not in communication with them or something. Could be an Aquarius. Get out in nature. Someone has been trying to like throw magic at you without you speaking to them. Yeah, they're a devil's advocate, a leak. Stay out of the way, ancestors. Let go of expectations. Feel like um, spirit guides are helping you with something. They want you to not work so hard on something here. I feel like spirit wants you to get out of the way of something because something's going to be happening. I feel like while all this is happening, you're going to be getting blessed. So I feel like someone is like in poverty or something. Hmm. I've been getting this weird feeling today in these readings about like someone wanting you to like be in poverty or something. I don't know. They want you to have that poverty mindset. Let's see. Something here backfires. Something about your guys' DNA. Keep getting that family energy. You're not talking to someone. Ugh, this is so weird. You're not talking to someone and you're getting gifts and blessings. How are you getting... They're, they're trying to say, like, how are you getting gifts and blessings? Queen of Wands in reverse. What is she doing here? 
Eight of Swords. Someone is stuck in this energy of like, they have like no self-esteem. They have lo really low self-esteem. They want to attack you. They want to throw magic at you or something. Because you have plans. They're, they're trying to like throw some energy at you so you don't have plans to move forward or something like that. What is this talking about? Someone is really jealous of you. Knight of Pentacles. You're smarter than this person. You have like certain plans or ideas or you're very responsible. Something is always growing for you. We have the three of wands in the reverse. Something about your gifts. You're gifted. Someone feels like they don't have your gifts or something. Yeah, justice in the reverse. Someone is getting like major karma for attacking you. Two of Pentacles, they're juggling their finances. I'm getting you might not have as much money as this person, but for some reason, they're the ones juggling. They're the ones in poverty. It's your mindset. That's what it is. Some people like to do things like, okay, they'll have a job, but then they'll go and scam the government too. They'll have a job, but they will sell their food stamps. I don't know. They'll, they'll have a job, and then they'll do something else sneaky behind the scenes. It's something about the justice system too. They'll have a job, but they'll sleep around for money. It's giving me something like that. It's like their mindset isn't st set on one thing. Are you responsible and stable or are you not responsible and stable? You got to pick a side. I feel like you picked a side here. You have a plan. I feel like you always have a plan. Even when you don't have a plan, you have one. Because I feel like you walk through the righteous steps of God. That's where your plans come from. Someone is crazy, by the way. Some sort of magic is backfiring on somebody here. Because they failed the test. Someone is also too worried about like what you have coming in for you. They're worried about where you're going and all that. Knight of Cups in reverse, very jealous. Things aren't coming in for this person. I feel like whatever magic they threw at you, you're not talking to this person, but they're receiving like a lot of karma for this. It's like their goals aren't going through or their manifestations aren't going through for them. They just feel this way. King of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. Wow. Empress. Six of Pentacles in the reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, you want to know something else? Um, things, oh, I see what's going on here. Things are just given to you. <laughs> things are just given to you and they have to like sneak, lie, steal, Go through the justice system to get things done. Uh, they're really jealous of you or like they, they, they're they very... What is wrong with these people? They're too busy thinking about what you have going on too. That's another thing that's making me mad here. It's like they're way too busy about what you got going on. Or like they're, they're running their mind rampant about what you have going on. Someone could be like sick. You're getting sick off the magic that they put on you. It could be either a karmic Libra, a karmic fire sign, a karmic earth sign. Clarify the queen in the reverse. Yeah, the knight of wands. Someone, I didn't want to say it, but listen, someone is like too sexually active too way too sexually active you see them as reckless as like you just you called them out too recently you may have called them out or cut them out of your circle something about friends you cut them out of your circle wheel of fortune with the what is this two of cups tower in the reverse clarify the knight of pentacles tower in the reverse king of swords in the reverse wow Something is like not your problem or they expected some sort of like. King of Wands in reverse. Why do I feel like this person tried to get you to be like sexually active with somebody here? They thought that they had some sort of strategic plan to get you to do this. There's also, so, there's a female and a male working together. 
They wanted you to like be stuck to this person, but you avoided this or you expected them to try this on you because of how dumb they are with the King of Swords in the reverse. They're not as smart or strategic as they think that they are. You're actually smart or strategic. It's like you have the energy of like a low vibrational sex around you all, all the time. It's like someone is always trying to get you to like give in. And clarify the three of wands in reverse. But you're not giving in. These are narcissists. Yeah, three of swords with the chariot here. You're moving forward. They're not. They're hurt. They feel betrayed because you're moving forward. Or you've overcame a lot. Yeah, Ace of Cups. They feel like you're going to find love or like you're in a lot of self-love and gratitude for your life. They're stressed out because you're at peace. They don't want you to be at peace or something. Something about using sex magic. I'm also getting like someone tried to get you pregnant recently or something and that's not working either. They're blocked. Clarify uh, justice in the reverse. You're getting a lot of karma or like something was done wrong to you. And it's hitting their finances. Eight of Wands is here. Empress in the reverse with the Temperance in the reverse. Oh, you want to know what this is? Oh, you want to know what this is? There's a karmic... I want to say a karmic Taurus or Libra. Someone that's supposed to be an Empress energy. Maybe even pregnant. They may have had a child or something. But it was like birth off of hate or injustice they had a child birth off of injustice or something and you get to move forward clarify the two of wands i feel like you have plans and this person does not have any plans for themselves we have the magician queen of cups reverse yeah it's a female here you have manifestation skills they don't something about their house is out of order two high priestess in reverse eight of cups you see, I feel like, I don't want to call them stupid, but yeah, I feel like I, I, these are stupid energies. They only move off of, like, sexual energy. Someone may also be sick because of what they, what they've done here. Four of swords in the reverse. Yeah, nine of pentacles in the reverse. Five of cups. They want you to care that they're about their lifestyle or something. So they're up at night worried about you in the Nine of Cups, Five of Cups in the reverse. You're, you're not losing out on anything. You're not missing out on nothing. You're not sad about nothing. Meanwhile, their lifestyle's all messed up. They, get, they can't get it together. They want to come and apologize to you because they're juggling their finances. That's not your responsibility. That's not your issue. What's wrong with these people? Some people may have to like leave their home or something too is also what i'm seeing with the get out in nature clarify the seven of cups i feel like they're overwhelmed or confused it's like they're someone is very delusional knight of swords in reverse two of pentacles they're projecting onto you but they're real fake too it's like they're projecting onto you that like they're your friend or something or but they're not they're not your friend they're really jealous six of six of swords with the ace of swords in the reverse they're in denial that you get to move on peacefully Like, I don't know what's wrong with these people. There's two people out here that thought that they had a plan for you, I guess. But it's not manifesting the way they want. You're manifesting a lot. They're not manifesting anything. They may have a child, too, a water sign child. Clarify the Knight of Cups in the reverse. These people are jealous of you. Ten of Swords in the reverse. The world. And the emperor in reverse. I knew it was a, there's, there's a couple out here trying to like have authority over your life, but they don't have any type of authority over you. They can't tell you, oh, you're you're heartbroken. They're, they're trying to tell you you're heartbroken, you're depressed. You're, aren't those feelings that you should feel for yourself, not feelings that you should project onto others? Like, oh, they're heartbroken, they're depressed, they're they're going through their sadness and grief. It's like it's not really. That's really not something that you, you're supposed to be projecting on someone else's life. Even if they are that, that that's, not, that's not something that you say about somebody. Those are feelings that you should put inwards towards yourself and feel about yourself. Like, how do you know when someone is sad unless they're telling you that they're sad? Ten of Swords in the reverse. The world is here. You got yourself some out of some sort of traumatic situation, okay? 
or you had a lot of knives put in your back that didn't even affect you because the cycle was closed out you don't even care clarify the king of pentacles in the reverse so someone is missing out on someone is just a bum someone is just a bum king of swords in the reverse or king of pentacles in the reverse eight of cups five of wands and the hierophant in the reverse someone is trying to fight with you or they're trying to like fight with you before you leave or something someone is very disrespectful because you're moving away from them or you don't want to be around them or this doesn't serve you anymore someone wants to fight with you but like it's not really yeah ten of cups you're moving away to your happiness maybe to a new relationship they don't want you doing that <sighs> yeah, they want you to be isolated or something it's like the energy of ownership. It's like they feel like they own you or something, but they're in poverty. Like, clarify the page of pentacles here. Like, you don't own anybody if you're in poverty. Like, it, that's not how it works. Ten of pentacles with the ace of pentacles in the reverse of the ace of wands. They may have, like, took something from you, but you get the ten of pentacles. You got your ancestors backing something up for you. Something that generates very well in your life. Yeah, so you're not in the, really in the energy of like, yeah, Nine of Swords. They're afraid to move forward to you. I don't know. They're afraid to do what you do. They're stressed out. They're afraid to do what you do. Or someone did something very foolish. They jumped to their death in, in a weird way. They're also concerned about how you see them. Like you see them as like a bum. You see them as a bum. So they can't come toward you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> you see them as a bum, and you're not. Give me a few more, then I'm going to start getting another deck out. The moon in the reverse. Yeah, you know something about these people. Everything is coming out. We got death here. You're transforming your life, and these people need to just leave you alone. Hmm. What is the energy in this reading? Mersutio, humorous, loyal, devoted, devoted, wild, and frenetic. And Capulet, fatherly, love, controlling, dogmatism. Someone's going to try to come in and act like they're all friendly and loyal and devoted, but really they're trying to use like some sort of like control over you. Romantic entanglement, sexual encounter. They want you, yeah, they want you to be in this. They want you to be like tied to them in a weird way. So just be careful. Like these people are weird. Resisting. Yeah, I feel like you're resisting this person. Face your heart. Do not follow blindly. Yeah, someone someone could actually be married too and trying to like have a, like a one night stand with you by trying to be funny. You may have children with this person too is also what I'm getting. They're going to try to use that against you. But they're married. We have Rosaline, conserve, conserve, chastity, serious, and formal. See, like, you don't feel like this person is funny. You don't even laugh at their jokes. Prince Escalius, protection, kindness, and undertake. So they're going to come in and try to, since the jokes aren't working, they're going to come and try to act like they're coming in to protect you. But it's unrequited. They're not even really coming in to protect you. Time to say goodbye. Yeah, so they try to, like, come in and have a romantic night with you and you're just you cut it short so that they wouldn't do that step forward accelerate bring forward make progress give me another one uh wise trustworthy caring and optimistic i feel like you're going towards someone that's actually more trustworthy than this crazy person over here yeah it's it's giving me like um I guess the feeling today, the gist of these readings is that they want you to be isolated so that you won't meet that person. But like I said, you already met this person. You're following your heart when it comes to like a wise, trustworthy, and caring, optimistic person. Someone is pretending to be loyal to you, but like you're, look at her face here. It's like she's not really feeling it. She don't want to be around this person at all. All right, guys, so this is your reading. Hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share. 
to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.